Last time on Light of Xerixis, the planet of Toriel was encased in crystalline vines. Lieutenant Undar Pomo, Gif Paladin, and Ima Sumac, a shifter rogue, made a daring leap towards a galleon to escape the destruction. It turned out to be a spaceship, captained by Elena Sartell. There they also met Bertie, Warsong, a half-orc artificer, but before they could get to know each other, they were boarded by a spaceship of the Xerixian Empire, demanding they present their paperwork. Among the boarding party was Lieutenant Beirin Ruahir, an astral elf cleric, and MD-8, a warforge designed for mediation. To escape, Bertie initiated the warp drive, shunting them 50 million miles away with Beirin and MD-8 taken along for the ride. Conflict and tensions rose, only to be diffused with arm wrestling. As negotiations transpired, an escape pod from the Xerixian Empire intersected with our hero's ship, containing within Princess Zaedali's handmaiden. And that is where we find ourselves. Last time on Light of Xerixis. The party made an uneasy truce with one another, only to be interrupted by a rogue Xerixian escape pod. After interrogating the pod's inhabitant, the handmaiden of Princess Zaedali, they learned all is not well within the Xerixian Empire. Princess Zaedali and her brother, Prince Zealith, both with an X, are at odds at how to best preserve their planet. Imperial politics had to wait as Captain Elena Sartell alerted the party that their ship's systems were fried after their warp jump and would need to make repairs at a nearby asteroid town, the Rock of Brawl. Docked, the party said their goodbyes to the captain who told them they could find assistance in one Commodore Crux who frequented a tavern called the Happy Beholder. Weaving their way into the center of the asteroid, they found the happy beholder, and within, they found their quarry. A massive gif of militaristic bearing and a blood alcohol level over the legal spell jamming limit. That high BAC allowed Ema to easily swayed Crux into a conversation. Bertie inquired how Crux knows Elena Sartell, which he promptly replied, Nope. And that is where we find ourselves in this part of the story. Last time on Light of Xerixis, our hero spoke with Commodore Crux on how to best thwart the Xerixian Empire. The tension ratcheted up, however, when Crux discovered Bayron's Xerixian ties, as well as the arrival of five Xerixian troops, presenting a wanted poster for Ima, Undar, and Bertie. With a mix of mediation, stealth, and disguises, the party escaped to Crux's ship, only to discover it was on loan and he had to pay off the remaining contract if he wanted it back. With quick thinking, Undar and Ima sold most of their remaining Torelian possessions. After the transaction, they boarded the second win, Crux's ship, and dubbed Bayrin the Spelljammer, despite Crux's reservations. That was the least of the gift's worries as more of his debts came to collect in the form of a gang of space penguins. With Bertie's lightning launcher, a well-placed moonbeam, and Bayron linking with the second wind, the party was able to escape, with only Ema and MD-8 getting the unnerving feeling they were being watched. And that is how we are going to pick up this story.